Hey there everyone, this is Ray Carcillo with Classic Game Room, and today we're looking at Pro Evolution Soccer 2011 from Konami for the PS3. When I played Pro Evolution Soccer 2011, one word kept coming to mind. Hardcore. As in, only the most hardcore and dedicated of soccer fans would truly enjoy this game. From unnecessarily complicated controls to a strong bias focusing in on European and Latin American countries, PES 2011 is only for someone who is strongly immersed in the international world of professional soccer. Comfortable with the ball at his feet. He's got one waiting in the box. The, ball goes out the physics and controls of the game are the first things you might have a bit of trouble getting used to. Although probably very accurate that if I blast a short pass from one of my players to another, the ball will deflect off his foot and he won't be able to control it. But it could be frustrating as the power meter to kick the ball is far too sensitive and you don't want to just tap the button in fear of turning the ball over. The same goes with shooting the ball on goal as the power meter simply rockets up after only a second of holding it down. Cleared nicely. Pissed it away. It's also difficult to read a player's stamina meter. Placed directly below their name, instead of draining or whittling away as time goes on, the stamina meter simply goes from green for good to red for bad, with no indicator how close you are to your players becoming too fatigued, and since your stamina meter has a direct correlation to how much turbo you can use, it might be nice to know when trying to make a late push for that equalizing goal. Another problem with the gameplay of PES 2011 is the fact that the goalkeeper AI seems to be flawed, as my netminder would often give up soft goals when it looked like he had a clear angle on the ball. I often played in the UFA League with Manchester United, so I know it's not from a lack of natural talent, but with every game I played, it seemed my goalie was simply non-existent in net. My biggest problem with PES 2011, though, is that only European and Latin American club teams are featured as you play for their league's respective cups. Maybe they just couldn't get the license, but I don't see why MLS wouldn't be willing to give it up, considering how much extra exposure they could use. There are some good features, though, to PES 2011. The Be a Legend mode, where you create your own player, is very well done and allows you to easily customize your player and get right into the action with him. From planning his training schedule to signing a contract with his first club team, I was really impressed with this mode as a whole. The leagues that are featured in PES 2011 are also very well done, with a clear drawn out schedule for the entire season and the chance to make trades, lineup changes, and strategy decisions, all from one central hub for your team before each match. This clear layout allows you to take your team customization to the max if you so choose. PES 2011 is also a very pretty game, the graphics are crisp and clear. The audio is also solid, with some nice tunes that are cycled through while you browse menu options, and you have solid commentary from the announcers and good crown sound effects to round it out. Into the area. Well struck. And the opening goal. And it's Valencia who go in front. Overall, due to difficult controls that prevent you from really just jumping into the game and enjoying it, I'd say that PES 2011 still has some work to do before becoming a serious contender as the premier soccer gaming franchise, but it is right on track with the very nice Be A Legend mode and solid season modes for the leagues it does have the licenses to. Could bring a chance here. And he tries again. And it's a really well taken goal. And what a time to score as well.